George. A few months ago, Yaron, you uh, analyzed a video by a guy named Emmanuel Acho, who does a show on YouTube or a podcast called Uncomfortable Conversations with a Black Man. Yep. Uh, now, last month, Acho was at a conference and he made the following comments. He said, I'm glad sports are down and I'm a sports guy. There's a presidential election going on. There's a pandemic going on. And I'm like, bravo, because at least that shows me that we have our priorities right in this country. Now, this is something that hits me if you know, in, in several ways, in part because I work in the sports industry. And so I hear and I see this all the time where, you know, LeBron James is tagging himself as more than an athlete. Teams and leagues say they're, they're bigger than sports. They're the things that really matter. And, you know, I look at sports. I, I think Tara Smith says it best. It's an arena for admiration. And if ever we needed an arena for admiration, it's now when we have a pandemic and a, a presidential election between two imbeciles. But, you know, beyond that, what does it say to you, you know, particularly as we're listening to these shows on productiveness and we have the show on pride coming up, when people put down their own work or their own profession in a template like this to place it in the, you know, socially right context, is it just a, a lack of appreciation for the role that these luxuries can have in our lives? Or is it, you know, maybe a broader sense of, you know, not many people respect their work or their purpose, whatever it may be. And so we can we can claim this moral high ground by putting our, our purpose down. Yeah, I mean, it's a great question. And there's a lot going on here, right? I mean, there's a sense in which this is what altruism demands, right? It demands you give up your most precious values. It demands that you give up that which brings you the most joy and the most, the most excitement. Um, and, and what he's saying is, look, there are people suffering. How can I enjoy how can I appreciate how, sh why should I have any values when people are struggling? I should be sacrificing for them. It's like Lent on a grand scale. Like what's the idea of Lent? It's the sacrifice something. And, and people do like these Catholics are such, you know, they're such scammers, right? So Lent, they give up chocolate. Like Jesus was on a cross for God's sake, right? I mean, he gave up his life. You're giving up chocolate? Right, do something serious, Be, you know. So, so this guy's like, I'm giving up sports, and it's appropriate. We as a culture should give up sports because it's Lent, because somebody's suf suffering, and we need a sacrifice, and we need a. It's not just what people call virtue signaling that is showing the world, look, I'm good, I'm a good guy. No, but you're showing yourself. It's their pseudo self esteem requires them to do it. They won't respect themselves if they don't do it. If he watches sports knowing there are people dying from COVID somewhere and he didn't do everything he could, he, he can't do it. So this is altruism and this is a consequence of altruism. And it's not that he's doing anything to help the people who have COVID. That's not the point of altruism. The point of altruism is not to help people. The point of altruism is to sacrifice. Right, the whole idea of sacrificing to God is to, God is to sacrifice to a non-being, and here, so the point of it is the sacrifice, not the benefit the other party gets. I mean, just think about a God. Think about all the power God has, and you know, knows everything, and every, He wants you to sacrifice to Him. I mean, what a what a what a you know a, a, a narcissistic being He would be if that were true, right? It's not about you sacrificing to somebody else. It's about you suffering, but you sacrificing. That, whether somebody gets a benefit doesn't matter. So giving up sports, nobody benefits from it. That's, but that's okay. That's the point. That's what self-sacrifice means. Um, so, so that's what it's really all about. And then with the, with the politics, it's the same thing. Serious stuff is going on in the world. The only way I know how to deal with serious stuff going on in the world is to deny myself something, not to eat that chocolate, right? It's, it's, it's not to pursue my values, to, to show myself, not other people, but myself, that I am a good person. And I'm a good person because I'm suffering. That's what makes me good. It's I'm giving up something at a time when I should be giving up something, when, when, when things are rough. I also find it interesting that, and, and the whole... I haven't commented on this, I don't think. But I find the whole idea of voter, voter turnout, this election, 
being the highest it's ever been, like since 1900 or something, I find that really depressing, right? For, for two reasons. One, because we had two really, really horrible candidates, and yet people were motivated to go up and vote. And second, because it shows how important politics is in people's lives. That's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. The idea that politics are bad, we need to get involved in politics, that's awful. That's a really side of bad times. But anyway, I, I think the question is, the answer to your question is altruism. That's what really, really impacts him. And of course, it's also, you know, you can see the egalitarianism there. You can see, you know, if they're suffering, we should all be the same. I shouldn't be enjoying it. it but I, but I, egalitarianism is an altruistic morality. That makes sense, George? Absolutely. That, that's awesome, man. Like I said, I, I hear this all the time. I encounter it firsthand. I've spent lots of time thinking and talking about it and never even, never even thought of introducing altruism. So that's, a, that's, that's why I'm here for the show, because we get <laughs> stuff like this. That's great. I mean, my, my attitude is, horrible things are going on in the world. Well, then I should enjoy myself. Not because horrible things are going on in the world, but because I'm not going to enjoy myself out there, so I better find things to enjoy myself in here because I, I can't go out or I can't do other stuff. And, and people are suffering. Okay, I'm, I'm sad that people are suffering, but life's not over. My life's still here. I still should pursue my happiness, right? The focus is me. It really is. We're, we're really egoists. We really are selfish in the deepest, most profound sense. So your whole orientation is different. But if your orientation is... No, suffering is good. Sacrifice is good. That, that's the, the essence of virtue. Then, you know, anyway. I, I, and I guess the irony too is he's in the position to actually make someone's life better. He can give us those moments of inspiration and admiration. If he really wanted to help us, he could be giving us those few hours a night. Absolutely. But, you know, it's Absolutely. not about helping us, like you said. Yeah, no, no. We're, we're much more helped by the positive trade than by the sacrifice. That's always the case. And yet they avoid the positive trade in, always in favor of the sacrifice because that's what their morality demands. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder. Please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now. Uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there. Help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share. And uh, you can support the show at youronbrookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. <laughs>